This video provides a walkthrough of the Wonders Adaptive Learning System, including the student experience and the teacher experience, including reporting features. Wonders Adaptive Learning is now available for all Wonders students, kindergarten through sixth grade. The Wonders Adaptive Learning is a learning system that provides an individualized pathway for foundational skill instruction and practice. The system focuses on three main topics, phonemic awareness, phonics, and structural analysis. The adaptive learning system targets these discrete foundational skill strands first by having students engage in a placement test. Based on the results of that placement test, students are placed in their zone of proximal development. And then students will be able to work through a series of activities by topics based on their individual needs. Students must complete prerequisites for each skill group in order to progress to the next set of skills. When students are engaged in these activities, each skill objective is completed with explicit instruction using the Think Aloud strategy and then are presented with targeted practice items. If students answer targeted practice items incorrectly, they will be presented with corrective feedback. Then we'll have another opportunity to engage in that targeted practice. If students continue to answer incorrectly, students will receive remediation. And then again, an opportunity to answer that targeted practice items. If students continue to struggle, then that objective will be locked. The teacher will have actionable reports. From your Wonders Teacher Dashboard, you will be able to click into the Adaptive Learning System and access an overview report for your class. So you'll know right away if students are locked out or if students have not recently logged in as well as an overview of their progress through those three main topics of phonemic awareness, phonics, and structural analysis. Teachers can also then click into a more detailed student progress report, which will allow teachers to intervene if necessary with intention. Now let's take a look at the student experience. When students log in to their Wonders Student Dashboard, they will see a new icon. This icon is a half circle, sort of a rainbow shaded picture. Students click on this to access the Wonders Adaptive Learning System. The first time they click that icon, students will start by taking a placement test. Depending on the age of the students, time of year, and ability level, this placement test may take 15 to 25 minutes. Students will be presented with a sampling of skills within those three main topics. Here is some idea of those different types of And here we can see some sample questions from that placement test. The system does include full audio and visuals for all learning objectives and activities. Once students have completed the placement test, the topics are labeled with different environmental themes that really address each one of those skills. Forest fun is phonemic awareness, ocean adventure is phonics, and structural analysis is through space time. Students can interact with these activities all based on the results of that placement test. But as I mentioned, based on how they place, some items or some of the topics might be locked. Students will need to complete the prerequisites in order to unlock the new topic. Here is also a map of the skill group. You can also see here on the right hand side of the screen the variety of topics or levels and how many activities per topic, which can range between 4 and 13 activities. 
if we take a look at this particular student who's in forest fun, there is one level that has been, or one activity, I should say, that has been completed. The student then can move into the second activity. There are 10 activities in this level, but only the first two have been unlocked. The student must complete activities in order. As we mentioned earlier, you will see a very systematic, explicit instructional model that begins with many lessons to apply the skill through that Think Aloud technique, and students will practice these skills with audio and visual prompts. Based on how the student responds, they will continue until they reach a proficient level of the skill. If the student responds incorrectly, that corrective feedback is provided. After three tries, the answer will be given and the student is prompted to move on. If the student continues to struggle, remediation is provided. If they are successful with remediation, then they try some new additional practice activities. However, if they are not successful, they will be locked out. And the teacher will be notified through those teacher dashboard reports to intervene. A student can always click on the home button to move into a different topic if another topic has been locked. Now let's take a look at the teacher experience. The teacher experience begins with an overall class dashboard with the ability to see if students are locked, students haven't logged in, and overall performance. Teachers can then click into the student progress reports. There is a drop down to select each student that is using the There is a student drop down in order to move between students in your roster. This student progress report has a color coded key. You can see it's similar to a stoplight. Green is go, yellow means caution, red means stop. The green with the rocket ship means they are proficient and they are moving quite quickly through the activity, or maybe they had one or two errors and they are proficient. If it's a green half triangle, then it's in progress. Yellow with a check means they were proficient with multiple attempts, but that R means they had to have some of that remediation. Red with that lock symbol means that skill has now become locked. And that is a clue for the teacher to then be able to know exactly what skill group the student is struggling in and to be able to use additional wonders materials to intervene with a face-to-face -face interaction. Some additional key things to know is that the gray shaded part are things that the student tested out of based on that placement test. The S on the far left of the skill group lets the teacher know this is their starting point in the Wonders Adaptive Learning System. And any of those boxes that are white means those activities have not been started. Another area is the placement test screen. From here, you will be able to view the results of that placement test when that test was completed. And you can also select an ending location for the students to stop in these skills. It is also important that if you feel the placement test did not quite capture the results correctly and you want to reassign the placement test, you can click on those three dots to reassign the test. Be aware that when you reassign and the student is starting over with a new placement test, it will remove all completed work and it starts the program all over again for the student. So you will have this pop up to be sure that you're wanting to reassign that placement test. Also, to support you, be sure to click into Teacher Resources. Here, you will find any updates that the Wonders Online Adaptive Learning Program has had, and I encourage you 
to click into the Wonders Adaptive Learning User Guide for additional support. The Adaptive Learning Progression Chart will give you a full overview of the complete K-6 Adaptive Learning Progressions for Phonemic Awareness, Phonics, and Structural Analysis. Thank you so much for joining me for this brief overview of Wonders Adaptive Learning and looking at the student and teacher experience.